I would like to welcome you all in the lecture series of sensors and transducers. In this session, I am going to discuss R2R ladder network ADC technique. In the previous session, we discussed about the weighted resistor DAC. The main setback of weighted resistor DAC is identification of that particular resistor. I need to find out a resistor like the value will be R. Then again, I need to find out R by 2, then R by 4, R by 8, like that. So that is not at all convenient. Getting the value in the market of market uh, it is not an easy task. So designer will get a trouble while selecting that particular value of that resistor. So what is the remedy? Of course, there is another solution called R to 2R ladder network. First of all, I would like to introduce the diagram, which will be helpful for identifying the conversion of digital information to analog information. Everybody can observe, we have a reference voltage. Okay, it is a reference voltage. Then there is a ladder. Can you see the ladder? We have a resistor, then 2R. There is another resistor, then 2R, R to 2R, see. So these are called R to 2R network. Also, there is an electronic switch, which is having two states. There are two states. Okay, two states. One is high, another one is low, like one, and zero. Two states are available. See, it's very clear. Uh, if, if the input, if the input is connected to one, that means high state. Okay, digital information will have two states. One is high, another is low. Suppose if the switch, instead of connecting one, if the switch would have been connected to zero, then it is low state. So like that, there will be two states. And we need to identify the LSB and MSB. For example, this could be LSB, correct? LSB, and this could be MSB. Because every digital information will have LSB and MSB. That point you know very clearly. And uh, this is actually ground that indicates zero. Okay, low level and uh, V reference means high. And uh, these are connected with the help of electronic switch, which is activated by the input signal. Now, the output of this R to 2R ladder, that is going to provide to the summing, summing amplifier. Okay, you can use LM. Uh, 741 as a summing amplifier. All right. So this is your feedback resistor. The designer must have been uh, seen the value of feedback resistor. And uh, we'll be getting the analog, analog output. This will be the analog output. So we have the digital information. Digital information will be converted to analog information with the help of the R to 2R ladder as well as the summing amplifier. So this type of arrangement is known as R to 2R ladder network. So I'll be discussing uh, the certain example. For example, I have the data like uh, 0, 1, 1, 0. How will I convert corresponding 0, 1, 1, 0 into corresponding analog value? So I can explain with the help of this R to 2R network. So here the main advantage is there is no issue for selecting R and 2R because uh, why can't you find out a value? For example, I have 4.7K, 4.7K ohm resistor. Definitely, I can, I can find out a double value of 4.7K resistor. It is very easy. So it is most convenient for the designer to develop R to 2R ladder network. So that's all about R to 2R ladder network. It is more precise compared to uh, the previous weighted the weighted resistor DAC. Also, it is easy to identify the value of resistor. These are the major advantage. But the drawback is the network is little bit complicated compared to the weighted resistor network. That is only the setback. Other than that, everything is fine. So in R to 2R network, the problem of finding out the resistor is overcome because we have only two value of resistor. One is R, another is 2R. Also, the output voltage is generated by switching section of the ladder to either the reference voltage or zero voltage according to whether there is one or zero uh, in a digital input. So, like that, we can make out. See, the V reference means it shows high and this is showing zero. Correct? If you are having any questions, please put up in the comment box. I am happy to answer. So, remaining portion will be continued in the next session. Thank you for watching this video. Happy learning.